well uh, let me stop here and uh, let me come back to what we were talking about we were talking about the spss so yeah please can't say or they will do it So, are you clear about the data entry in SPSS? Okay, let me go for one more case study and think about it how you will enter the data. The case study is about a experimental search, experimental study. Somebody want to do on microfinance, the effect of microfinance on the poverty elevation. Effect of microfinance on the poverty and uh, the scholar prefer to work on pre and post okay effect of microfinance or microcredit on poverty removal or how much improvement is done so some indicators are made some indicators like income is taken education is taken consumption is taken let me work on the three and it is taken pre means when you are not availing this microfinance and post so, only this much is the questionnaire. So, questionnaire is there are the three points A, B, C and pre and the post. How to go for data entry? Just think of the format which is available to you is in SPSS this is a person. So, can you tell me how many things you are looking from how many responses you are looking for from this person? If I will go to this person, if I will ask for six right it means the row will be 1 and column will be 6 yeah uh, attach my laptop there means the laptop is attached you just uh, make sure its a display comes there So, the data will be entered one thing you should always remember that one person means one row one person is one row. So, there will not be any other row. So, you will enter all the now if there are the 20 such indicators. So, it means 20 and 20 40 things. So, there will be 40 columns there will be 40 columns. So, how will enter it is income for pre income for post education for pre education for post and so on. So, that is what I told you in experimental research from the same respondent you measure the same item minimum 2 times. So, there will be 2 columns and there will be this much columns. So, if I will show you one such file a please check in your laptop do you have a file called diet study. do you have a file called diet study if SPSS file is open just try control O right now this is a weight reduction program the file is about that the people joined how many people are there I think 16 people joined the weight reduction program. So, I mean variable view control T the people some ID was given their age was noted age fill in the blanks open ended their gender was noted male and female and then two things were noted down triglyceride and weight weight when they arrived at that clinic weight after first week second week third week and at the end of the fourth week they have taken like this this work is similar like this pre and post rather it is pre and post and post and post and post right now see the data entry for the first person age is 25 0 0 means now you can look for either its male triglyceride and weight is 198 after one week it was 196 193 188 192 we wish to check whether there is a significant improvement in the weight now improvement here means reduction 
whether there is a significant reduction in the weight or not, which particular test or technique we should apply. I want to check whether there is any improvement in the first week from when they arrived and in the first week, is there any significant improvement? What sort of study is it, experimental or descriptive? Experimental. experimental. The study I have taken two times or more than two times? No, I, I, I wish to check only first two, this two, two times. So, can you look at your this? In the morning, we have written the real life case scenario, where the difference, the story of difference when I told you, I told you there are some real life case scenario. For the experimental research, I told you it is a univariate and the bivariate univariate and the bivariate, in the bivariate when it is experimental, so it is two related sample. So, two related sample, what is the test there? Paired T test, paired T test will be applicable. So, wherever you have written all these things, would you like to write down the address in SPSS where they are available? You have written 5, 6 things. So, that whenever you read your notes, you remember that ok it is available here. So, all of such tests are available in analyze menu. In analyze every single thing is available, all the regression, correlation, data reduction, scale, reliability, non-parametric test, compare means everything is available in analyze menu. In all the versions these are same. In analyze, it is available in compare means and in there all the tests are available. Now, just look have a look at it, are you able to connect it to something like in the compare means all parametric tests reside here. When I say all parametric tests, it seems like 20, 30 parametric tests are only 2, 1 T, second is F, T and Z are one and the same thing. In SPSS, there is no provision for Z test, it is only T test. That means, when the sample size will be less than 30, it will understand T, more it will understand Z, but it will call it as T. And second is F, one sample T test, have you heard of this test? Looking at your notes, can you tell me what in which scenario we will use it, one sample T test? Univariate objective and there is only one variable and there is a claim. There is a claim, if there is no claim, we will simply write mean and standard deviation. If there is a claim, people say this is satisfaction level is 5, then we will apply one sample t test. What is independent sample t test? Independent sample t test. <coughs> okay, correct, independent categories. So, it is descriptive study or it is experimental study? Descriptive study. Is it bivariate or multivariate? Bivariate. bivariate. So, it will be independent sample t test, descriptive study and then there are the bivariate and one of them is a non-metric of the two variable. Paired sample t test, you remember that what is that? Paired, paired is two related sample test, okay. One way ANOVA, now what is that one way ANOVA? When more than two categories are there. So, descriptive research bivariate, descriptive research bivariate when one is metric and other is non-metric and non-metric got more than two categories, it will be one way ANOVA, right. So, these are found here in compare means. The first one descriptive, this is for univariate, this is for univariate, actually they are univariate, bivariate, multivariate this is this in this format. So, the this is univariate descriptive frequency, when will you use frequency? One variable and you measure it non-metric, check it out table number 1, have you written the same thing? One variable if it is non-metric, you will apply frequency, count and percentage. So, this will give you count and percentage. If it is metric, you are more interested in x bar sigma that is called a descriptive. No, one sample cannot be t. x bar sigma, if it is metric, simply x bar and sigma, ok. 
okay always remember whenever in spss in any menu the word descriptive come the meaning of the descriptive is mean standard deviation minimum maximum some general information that is called as the descriptive one sample t test is correct for this but available here the menu is available this one and this one is simply for mean and for correct that is also for univariate but it lives its with its family members so descriptive is here then when uh, two variables are there both are non metric it was cross tabulation table 2 cross tabulation so this is the cross tabulation available in between there is explore explore checks for two important things of research explore checks for outliers and normality so these two very important things we always look for whether my data is normally distributed explore menu will check that whether my data is having any sort of outlier explore will check that in case of uh, ratio analysis what you do there are the assets and the liability divide assets by liability so entire column you need to divide by this so this is called as the ratio simply a ratio ratio means this column divided by this column or this column divided by this column else all such things we do in transform we do such things in transform any mathematical operation excel like function computations we do it here ratio now that's a important one now the techniques again can be bifurcated into two one the statistical test technique second is non statistical statistical is you take a small sample you walk on and then you infer something ratio analysis is non statistical technique because you take data and find its ratio like if you are analyzing balance sheet no stats come into that right so there is non statistical and statistical regression is a statistical technique now this was univariate this was bivariate another thing from the bivariate is correlation another thing in the bivariate is correlation now in the correlation if you remember you were told about two three types of correlation number one carl pearson that was the default value you remember something called pearson spearman pearson is the this and spearman rank correlation you there were the two judges has given the ranks then you do 1 minus 6 d square something like that this and then there is a candlestick when there is a tie between the ranks it's called a candlestick the point is in spss menu it will you can do anything you just click it will give you answer but you must know what you have asked it to do and how to interpret it the next one is regression and it is, since it's a 11 version only two sort of regression are there if you got higher version maybe 16 or 20 there are n number of regression available you can see something called uh, ordinal regression probit regression non linear regression weight estimation regression there are so many regressions are available so it means it must be used every technique must be used in some particular premises after that it is becomes for multivariate multivariate means there is something called cluster analysis discriminant analysis it was in bivariate discriminant analysis we talked something about factor analysis data reduction and reliability cronberg alpha okay so look for how many types of alpha is there it can be cronberg alpha it can be split half method it can be gutman it can be parallel test retest so many types are there now spss is a very comprehensive software it will give you exactly what you will say but you must know what to ask it where it makes sense and then there are so many non parametric test two independent sample test so when t test will not be applied this test will be applied the substitute of t test when the assumption of normality is violated or anything goes wrong with this the assumptions what is the substitute of t test you have written there it's u test men whitney u test so check it says men whitney u test then there is two sample ks test wald test mojes test means there are so many other things to learn but 
just to begin with there are these 8 10 type test. You will find this menu may be in non parametric there will be legacy dialog in the legacy dialog this menu will come. For the newer versions there is a non parametric legacy dialog in the legacy dialog this will come. K independent sample test can you make a guess what sort of test should come here? What is K independent sample test? There are more than two categories available. One way another is a parametric test. H. H test will be available here. Just check it out. It says Kruskal Valley's H test. Kruskal Valley's H test. One way ANOVA, it is also called non parametric ANOVA. And likewise, two related sample. So, if it is assumption of normality sustains, it is called as the paired T test, else it will be Wilcoxin mass pair test. It is Wilcoxin. Wilcoxin matched pair test. Then as you go further like take an example, <coughs> we invited some people here uh, like it is a admission time is going on, we invited people for uh, just a tour of uh, JMI. When the people arrived, when the students arrived, we asked them will you like, like to join JMI, Jamia Amelia University, answers are yes or no whatever they answered we said okay have a tour just go uh, do not forget to take that uh, lunch there and then come back. In the evening we asked again would you like to join this JMI or not, it is experimental research before and pre and post, two times measurement was taken and measurement was taken only on the nominal scale yes no yes no. In this particular case McNamara test will be applied, McNamara test. It means every single thing when to use sign test, when to use other test, there are certain case to case, case to case that will differ. But in general if we talk about this is the analyze menu and these are all sort of things. So, generally we come across correlation, regression, compare means that is t test and the descriptive, univariate, bivariate hypothesis testing, bivariate regression and in that classify bivariate LDA you will find univariate there were the two count and the descriptive. So, whatever we have said we it is like that. So, let us talk of few things here before I go ahead. So, are you clear about the data entry of experimental research? Yes. Always remember this is separate the different ways there. <coughs>